Good morning, class. Our topic today is open water system, mollusk culture, and seaweed farming. The farming of mollusks and seaweeds in open marine waters has become increasingly popular in a number of countries, especially in the third world where it is seen as a viable alternative to municipal or artisanal fisheries or as a means of supplementary income for small-scale fishermen. Because sea farming is generally low-cost and labor-intensive and could thus involve entire coastal communities, it is particularly appropriate in areas where production from municipal fisheries has substantially declined and where, as a result, subsistence fishermen have little or no means of livelihood. A. Mollusk culture. Bivalves are widely cultured in a number of countries worldwide. In Asia and the Pacific, they represent a high-quality food resource with annual production higher than from crustacean culture on a per hectare basis. Sidoe, 1988. In 1984, mollusks accounted for approximately 35% of the total production of coastal aquaculture in terms of gross. Weighed in the region, Shang, 1986. The most important species for culture in Southeast Asia are the oysters, mainly Crassostria spp, mussels, mainly Perna spp, clams, cockles, and scallops, Pacatipinin, 1987, Sidoe, 1988, Chong, 1988, Liang et al., 1988. Mussels, clams, cockles, scallops. In Japan, the most commonly cultured species include Crassostria gigas, C. rivularis, C. nepona, C. echinata, and Austria denser mollosa, with C. gigas as the predominant species, Hanma, 1980. In Africa, the culture of Venerupus is reported in Tunisia and Pinctata, SPP. In Sudan, Shahida, 1975. In Mexico, the culture of the large oyster Crassostria SPP is carried out by cooperative societies and of the mussel Middleus adullus on floating rafts by private investors. Rassostria gigas venerupus Middleus adullus. Oysters are widely distributed in estuaries and bays which receive some runoff from land and have somewhat lower salinity than the open sea. As they filter their food from the water, they grow best in areas with moderate to high concentrations of phytoplankton, SCSB, 1982C. Oysters grow best in intertidal areas where they are exposed for some 17 minutes or a few hours during low tide, Pacatipinin, 1987. Mussels, on the other hand, cannot tolerate tidal exposure even during low tide. Biological requirements for mollusks. Seawater salinity range of 15 to 35 ppt. Water depth of 1 to 10 m. Muddy bottom for mussels and hard rocky or coralline substrates for oyster. In addition, the area for mollusk culture should be protected from strong water currents reaching 3 knots and should be accessible to source of seed, transport, and markets. Furthermore, the presence of local available stock in an area is a good indicator of its suitability for mollusk culture. Countries which have successfully cultured bivalve mollusks have developed their own systems of culture which depend entirely on natural seed stock, which are either gathered from natural seed beds or collected using suitable materials for collecting seed from natural grounds, Sidoe, 1988. In the Philippines, both natural and synthetic ropes have been used for spat collection. However, since natural ropes, which have been found to attract more larvae than synthetic polyethylene or polypropylene ropes, do not last long, Natural fibrous materials like coconut coir are sometimes interwoven with synthetic nylon ropes to make them more attractive to the larvae. Yap et al., 1979. Sidoe et al., 1983. The string seed collectors are submerged in the seawater for seed collection at the right time. They are hung on a collector rack, normally 12 strings along a distance of 1.8 m to hold about 1,000 shells. Sometimes, strings are hung separately from each other at regular intervals. At others, three or four strings are put together for hanging to prevent branches from attaching to strings when they occur in large quantities. Seaweed. 
Seaweed. Seaweed, aside from being used as food, are important sources of colloids or gels, such as agar, as well as minerals of medicinal importance such as iodine. Uchima art algae is a valuable source of carrageenan, an important industrial compound used in stabilizing and improving the quality of a great number of products. Colorpa lentilifera, a green alga, is economically important because it is a favorite and nutritious salad dish containing essential trace minerals such as calcium, potassium, magnesium, sodium, copper, iron, and zinc. It is also known for its medicinal properties, being used as an antifungal agent and as a natural means for lowering blood pressure. Gracilaria, another red alga, is economically important in Taiwan, PC, for its agar extracts. Colerpa lentilifera, Gracilaria. The culture of the seaweed porphyra is believed to have started as early as between 1596 and 1614 in Hiroshima Bay utilizing pole and net devices originally installed to catch fish. At present, commercial seaweed culture is limited to five countries in East Asia, viz. Japan and Korea, which both grow mainly porphyra, undaria and laminaria, China, porphyra and laminaria, Taiwan, PC, Gracilaria and porphyra and the Philippines, Euchuma spinosium, E. ketoniae and Colerpa lentilifera. 31 species belonging to 18 genera and three divisions are presently cultured in these five countries, of which only three out of the 31 species are green algae. In 1988, the estimated world seaweed carrageenan production for use in the manufacture of carrageenan was nearly 68,000 tea of dried seaweeds, of which nearly 66% was supplied by the Philippines and the rest by Indonesia, Chile, and Canada. The bulk of the Philippine seaweed production consists of Yuchuma produced mainly in the southern part of the country in reef-protected coastal areas. Colerpa is also successfully farmed in seawater ponds in McTan, Cebu, Toronto, 1986.